Hello, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of After the Sandstorm here on Gamecock Central. I am Kendall Smith, joined alongside of Colin Taylor following South Carolina's 56-20 to Week 4 victory over the Charlotte 49ers. And Colin, this win could not have come at a better time for South Carolina. Yeah, I called it cathartic in my instant analysis and to Shane Beamer, and it's just you needed something to cleanse your palate. You need something to just wipe it clean, be done, and move forward. And you got that. You got your wins. You needed them. You move forward. So Marshawn Lloyd with a massive performance tonight, his best as a South Carolina Gamecock. Three touchdowns. He even had a run in which he hurtled over a defender, showing maybe a potential career in track and field for Marshawn Lloyd. Know. But, yeah, you really never know. But for you, watching him perform that way what does that do for the South Carolina offense going forward it's what you need you you need a Marshawn Lord like that because the ground game needs to get going you need to get to a point where you can rely on it's not going to be seven yards of carry like it was tonight every night but it needs to be you know four four and a half five at times um, and you saw Marshawn Lloyd that can be a workhorse back in the SEC, the kind of guy they expected him to be coming into his career that's just never happened because of injuries. You and I were talking about it after halftime, but South Carolina's defense coming back in the second half, making a lot of adjustments. And really, you said it best when you mentioned they were capitalizing off of opportunities. Kind of expand on that and what you saw out of the defense and what changed that allowed them to kind of take that next step and put a stop to Charlotte. Yeah, they took advantage of opportunities. That first half, they missed a lot of sacks. They missed a lot of plays that could have turned into turnovers. And then it showed because Charlotte was able to extend drives. They were able to score points and make it make it a competitive game. And in the second half, South Carolina was able to get those pressures, to force those turnovers. You had three interceptions. I think all three led to touchdowns. Uh, at least two of them did. So they took advantage of opportunities. And that's what the South Carolina defense needs to be because it's so banged up. They're going to need to force pressure. They're going to need to get after the quarterback. Uh, they stopped the run well tonight for the most part, and they need to force turnovers. And if they do that, they have a chance to be competitive moving forward over these last, I guess, what is it now, eight games. South Carolina taking on South Carolina State next Saturday here at williams Bryce Stadium at 12 p.m. Colin, a win like this over Charlotte. Noon yes, games. we love noon games, noon games because right now we're recording this at – 12 19 in the morning so very tired if you saw Shane Beamer's press conference you will know that I'm very tired just go check it out but Colin what does a win like this do for the confidence going forward obviously with South Carolina State next week and then you're on the road against a really tough Kentucky team that week after yeah I'm not going to sit here and pretend like Charlotte's Georgia or Arkansas or even Georgia State but it gives you proof of concept. It gives you proof and confidence that, hey, we can go up, we can line up, we can run the ball, we can execute on offense, we can force some turnovers. And that gives you a little bit of life on both sides of the ball. And when that happens, I'm not saying South Carolina is going to go from being uh, what they are now to 2019 LSU or, you know, an elite Alabama defense of the last couple of years. But it gives you confidence. You can go out there and be competitive with the teams in your division, in your conference, um, and they kind of let the chips fall. But this, they showed signs tonight of a really competent football team and a team with a lot of promise that if things kind of start clicking, then they have a chance to be competitive a lot, in a lot of games moving forward. All right, Colin, thank you so much for your insight. And thank you so much to everybody for tuning in to this edition of After the Sandstorm here on Gamecock Central. South Carolina with a big 56-20 to win over Charlotte in week four. They're now 2-2 two and two on the season as they head into week five against South Carolina State. That's at noon next Saturday here from williams Bryce Stadium. He's Colin Taylor. I'm Kendall Smith. This has been Before the Sandstorm. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a great rest of your day.